Hey guys, David here, and in this video I'll be guiding you through installing Docker on Windows 11. Now, I want this to be the easiest guide to follow, no nonsense, let's just get Docker up and running. So, in order to do this properly, we actually need to install two things. Windows Subsystem for Linux, or WSL for short, and Docker Desktop. WSL can be installed from Windows Settings, and we'll download Docker Desktop from docker.com. If you already have WSL installed on your computer, you can skip ahead to the timestamp on the screen to install Docker Desktop. If not, let's start with installing WSL. I'll click Start, and then I'll go to Settings, and then I'll go to System, and I'll scroll all the way down to Optional Features, and I'll scroll to the very bottom and I'll click More Windows Features. Now in this new window, I'll scroll all the way down and I'll check off Windows Subsystem for Linux, and then I'll click OK. Now, this may take a minute or two, but when it's done, you'll be asked to restart the computer. So I'll just click Restart Now, and I'll come back once this is done. Okay, so once you've restarted, you'll want to go to the search bar down here, and you'll want to type WSL. And if WSL is installed correctly, you should see the Linux Penguin with the run command underneath. Now, we're not done quite just yet. I'm going to click this. And we get this new window here saying Windows Subsystem for Linux must be updated to the latest version to proceed press any key to install Windows Subsystem for Linux. So I'll press any key. And I'll just click yes on the user account control here. Now this may take a minute. I'm just gonna wait for this to install and I'll come back once this is done. All right, the terminal window has closed. Now, if I open the start menu, I have two new options, WSL and WSL settings. So that's really all we need to do here. We know that we've installed WSL correctly and that it's ready for Docker. All right, now we're going to install Docker Desktop. Now this will also install the Docker service that some people run standalone, but Docker Desktop also gives you a nice UI for managing containers. So I'm just going to open a web browser and I'm going to go to docker.com. I'll just accept all cookies and I'm just going to hover this button here, download Docker Desktop, and I'm going to click download for Windows AMD 64. You'll want to click this whether your computer is Intel or AMD, it doesn't matter. All right, and once it's done downloading, I'll just open the installer and I'll just click yes on the user account control. And I'm just gonna leave the desktop shortcut and I'll just click okay. And now Docker will start to install. Now this might take a few minutes, so I'll come back once this is done. Okay, and once it's done, I'll just click close and log out and then I'll log back in. And now I should be able to run Docker desktop and I'll just accept the license agreement. Now you can create or sign in with a Docker account if you want. I'm just going to click skip for now and we'll see starting the Docker engine. Now this can take a minute. Also the WSL welcome screen may open in the background. You can just go ahead and close this. And if you get any errors here about WSL the first time you try to start Docker, you may just need to restart your computer and open Docker again for it to work. But yeah, like I said, this can take a minute, especially the first time. So I'll come back once it's started. And once we see engine running in the bottom left corner here and we get the options for containers, that's it, we're done. Docker is installed on your system. And now you can either use Docker Desktop to run containers, or if you did want to open a terminal window, you can also use the Docker commands from your terminal or from your PowerShell window. And the commands will work in there as well. So that's it for now. I hope this helped. And if it did, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my website at www.techop.io for more.